What are the differences between XM generator and generator X? First, I would like to show for those people who do not know uh, what is an XM generator and uh, what is a generator X. Um, this is uh, our uh, XM generator. And you can see that, um, well, uh, the, although there are four outputs, but only these two puts are used. So it is a, a two output generator. And uh, this is our generator X. It has just been released uh, um, early this year. It was released in January, I think, January uh, 2018. And uh, you can see that uh, there are, hmm, really don't know how to use, uh, there are four outputs and uh, it's actually two separate generators. The frequency range for XM generator is uh, um, zero to five megahertz and the frequency rate, uh, range for uh, generator X is uh, zero to 40 megahertz. Most diseases frequencies are actually under uh, three megahertz. So although there is a big difference between the frequency range uh, between XM generate, <coughs> sorry. Although there is a big difference um, between XM generator and generator X frequency range, it's not so different when it comes to treatment, because most diseases frequencies are under three megahertz. And most of the generators you can find, frequency generators you can find in, in the market can only go up to one megahertz. So XM generator is still very powerful and it can still pretty much all of the work. Um, with when uh, XM generator is connected to Spook2 software, it can um, go up to 25 megahertz actually, but uh, the um, waveform would not be so perfect. With XM generator, you can, uh, with both generators, you can do biofeedback scan, but uh, the working theory for both generators, uh, for these two generators are different. Um, because XM generator does not have an BFB scan function embedded, it can only be connected with the spooky pulse to do the biofeedback scan. And the spooky pulse, you can see here, you can see that uh, this is a spooky pulse and this is the XM generator. Um, here with tense pads connected uh, uh, to generator uh, XM generator, one tense pad would go to the right wrist, right wrist, and uh, another tense pad would go to the left ankle of our body. Uh, here you can use either uh, ear clip or finger clip. The ear clip or finger clip is uh, measuring our heartbeat. So uh, spooky pulse biofeedback scan is actually measure, measuring the body response. Our body would tell us when it feels um, relaxing, a relax, uh, when it is relaxing and when it is nervous. So with spooky pulse biofeedback scan, you will be able to find both healing and killing frequencies. You can use the healing frequencies, of, uh, you can use them for the treatment later on. Um, Spooky 2 Generator X can also be connected with, uh, can also do um, pulse biofeedback scan. At this moment, it is not using the embedded biofeedback scan function. It is using the function from the, the scan function from Spooky Pulse. When it is, a uh, um, uh, when it is used with Spooky Pulse, XM Generator and Generator X are exactly the same for biofeedback scan.
However, Spooky 2 Generate X, it also has a um, um, biofeedback scan function embedded. And that part is actually very, very difficult when we were designing this generator. It took a lot of time, and this is the world's first. Um, before Spooky 2 Generate X, the similar biofeedback scan function can only be um, accessed in uh, some labs, and it is very, very expensive. But Spooky Pulse, uh, but Spooky Generator X is um, offering this function to the um, public. With the embedded scan function, you can use it. Uh, you can use the contact uh, scan that is um, um, still connected with uh, uh, tense pads. Um, you put a ten, rather than um, put a tense pads at a right wrist or uh, and the left ankle. Now you put uh, uh, those tense pads across the problem area. Like if you have a, a pen in your arm, you would put those two tense pads across the pen area as close as possible because that is when you have the least noise. Why is called a generator X a faster scan? Because it, it only takes about uh, six and a half minutes. And uh, for the first time, I feel that uh, biofeedback scan is uh, becoming fun because every day when I come back, I can just uh, lie down in bed and uh, ask, you know, Jay to do a scan for me. And uh, after six and a half minutes, I can get up and uh, and uh, check the results and see whether there is any difference between today and yesterday and whether there is any improvement. So it has become so much fun. And I, if I have, if there is some place I don't feel comfortable, I, I feel a little bit pain, I would uh, um, put across the pain area and uh, I would, uh, uh, it would help me analyze what, um, problem it is. Um, with pulse scan, it takes about one hour, and you can't. Uh, when you lie down, you can't do anything, and you can't move your arms, your legs. When you feel itchy, you can't scratch it. But now it's okay. Um, you can still do your work, or you can choose to lie down for just a six and a half, six and a half minutes. And the Generator X can also be connected with the sample digitizer. Do a sample digitizer scan. That's you when you analyze what is what the pathogens are in the in your mucus, in your blood, in your urine, and um, yeah. So do some sample uh, scan. It it is very accurate. It takes a little bit long, but it, because you don't have to be wired to the to the Generator X. It's not a, it's not a pen at all. And for those people who know that uh, Spooky Two also have uh, Spooky Two Scalar, uh, you may also know that um, we have just released a Spooky Two Scalar digitizer scan. And uh, this Spooky Two Scalar digitizer scan can only be connected with um, uh, Generator X to do a scan using the scalar field. Um, XM, ge XM generator um, cannot be used standalone, and the generator X can be used standalone. So, what is standalone? It's when you can, uh, you do not have to connect your generator to a computer or Spooky2 software. You can directly download or copy the programs from Spooky2 software to the to Generator X, and then you bring your Generator X with you. So you can do a treatment uh, for yourself at any time. It will, it's very convenient. Um, for me, many people ask that if I already have a Generator X, do I still have XM generator? I can't. Uh, um, decided for you, but um, in my case, I always have many XM generators running at home, uh, 724, and um, I would always have one generator X with me in the room, you know, or if I travel, I would bring one uh, generator X with me. 
So when I come back uh, after work, I can do scan for myself, and I can also directly do a um, contact treatment using the scan results, or use an XM generator to do a remote treatment for myself using the results. Or if I travel, because I travel a lot, um, I would bring a G Genetics with me. It's it um, offers more capabilities, more um, possibilities. Um, I also have one in my parents' place because I do not go home, go go back to my parents' place very often. I uh, ask my cousin to um, do a scan for my parents every week. Um, normally, um, not one scan, uh, several scans. Um, if uh, we mentioned that with the spooky pulse, you can find uh, the um, what's happening in your body. But with Generator X, you can find it's a local uh, scan. But if you want to find out what pathogens are in your body, um, you can put uh, tense pads across your tummy area because that's where uh, most of the pathogens uh, stay. So I would ask my cousin to put um, tense pads across my mommy's um, tummy and do a scan and also because my mommy has uh, some um, digestive uh, tract problem not um, breathing tract problem so I also asked my uh, ask my cousin to do a scan across my mom, uh, mommy's lungs and send the, the, um, the results to me so I can do the treatment in, in my place or if they have had some uh, new problems, uh, feel uh, uncomfortable in some uh, low, in some areas, I would ask my uh, my cousin to do the scan uh, across the problem area. It's so much easy, and um, now I don't have to go back to my parents' place every week, and I still can do treatment for them. And if they, you know, if they feel sick, I can help them. I feel that. Um, I can do something for them. Uh, we mentioned that uh, Spooky Pulse is um, measuring is um, measuring the body response. The but uh, Gen uh, X is um, is measuring the signal response. Um, our body is not able to tell how it feels to generate X, so you can use. Um, only use the frequencies for killing. You can only find the killing frequencies, but it's still very good. 